Hi everyone, welcome back to science. I'm Miss Catherine and let's get started today with our Matter and Energy and Ecosystems Lesson 2.3. For today you will need a pen um, or a pencil to write with as well as some lined or blank paper to write on. And if you have access to Amplify Online, that would be great because we are going to investigate something in the sim today. Um, if you don't have access to Amplify Online, you can just follow along with me. And if you have a family member or a friend to talk to and share ideas, um, as always, that's encouraged. Or again, just talk to me. So if you're following along online, um, please pause the video and get to lesson 2.3 following our click path. And again, get your paper set up today with our headings for our unit and our lesson title. Great. So remember in chapter two, we are trying to uh, determine what caused the carbon dioxide in the air of the biodome to decrease. And we know from chapter one that the carbon dioxide in the air decreased because this lack of carbon dioxide is why our producers were not able to produce enough energy storage molecules that all of the living things in the biodome needed to survive. So for our warm up thinking today, we have been sent a graph um, from Dr. Corey, who's working with us and our Econauts around the population data of some different types of living things within our biodome. And so in a moment, I'm going to make this graph big on your screen. And when I do that, I would like you to pause the video, analyze the graph, and consider these three questions. What does the graph show? What do you notice? And explain how this graph could help us determine why the amount of carbon dioxide in the air of the biodome decreased. So when I was looking at this graph and considering those three questions, um, I am noticing first that the graph is showing biodome population data of three different types of living things within our biodome. It's the decomposers, the producers, and the consumers. And that this graph is showing the size of those populations over our time. And it's going from year zero to year three, because year three, again, is that year where the Econauts began to notice that the plants and the animals were not getting enough of those energy storage molecules. Oh, Margo's back today to say hi. And when I am looking at the graph, I notice um, that over time, the population of the decomposers is going down. It's decreasing. However, the populations of both the producers and the consumers is staying the same because that line is flat. It's not really changing very much. And when I consider how this information could be helpful in determining why the amount of carbon dioxide in the air of the biodome decreased, um, well, I know from last time that all three of these uh, components of our abiotic ecosystem, all three of those undergo the process of cellular respiration. And through that process of cellular respiration, we are adding carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So perhaps because these decomposers are reducing in numbers, it's decreasing over time, that could maybe be the link to why our carbon dioxide was also decreasing over time. 